And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday, the 25th of June, 2021. It was on this day in 1903, Marie Curie announced her discovery of radium, for which she won a Nobel Prize. That evening, at a party in her honor, the guests went out to the garden. Her husband, Pierre, pulled a little tube out of his pocket, which started to glow, and the guests could see that his fingers were scarred. He was holding a tube of radium. In 1908, on this day, D.H. Lawrence wrote in a letter to his friend Blanche Jennings from his house in Derbyshire in England where he was living, here on the grass where the still warm air is full of the scent of pinks, spicy and sweet, and a stack of big red lilies a few yards away impresses me with a sense of hot, bright sunshine. It is a true midsummer day. There is a languorous gray mist over the distance. The haze just falls on Eastwood. The church is blue and seems fast asleep. The very chimes are languid. Only the bees are busy nuzzling into some wide white flowers, and I am busy too, of course. It's the birthday of the man who wrote a big bestseller about a boy and a tiger in a boat. Jan Martel, born on this day in Salamanca, Spain, 1963. His father, a Canadian diplomat. The boy grew up in Alaska, British Columbia, Costa Rica, France, Ontario, and Mexico. He was a writer trying to come up with an idea for a book when he remembered a book review he'd read many years before, a review of a book by a Brazilian writer about a German-Jewish family who owned a zoo and tried to escape to Brazil. The ship sank. One family member left alone in a lifeboat with a black panther. Jan Martel loved the premise, and he went to work on it and wrote a story about an Indian teenager named Pai Patel. The son of a zookeeper, the family leaves India for Canada. They're shipwrecked, and the boy, Pai, ends up in a lifeboat with a few animals and eventually only a tiger named Richard Parker. It was published in 2001 as Life of Pi, became a bestseller, won the Booker Prize. It's the birthday of the children's author and illustrator Eric Carle, born on this day in Syracuse, New York, 1929. When he was a boy, the family moved to Stuttgart, Germany, and he grew up in Germany during World War II. Went to art school after the war, moved to New York, where he said, the long, dark time of growing up in wartime Germany, the cruelly enforced discipline of my school years there, was finally losing its rigid grip on me, and the child inside me, who had been so sharply repressed, was beginning to come joyfully back to life. Eric Carle, who's written and illustrated more than 70 books, his most famous being The Very Hungry Caterpillar in 1969. Here's a poem for today by John Crow Ransom, entitled Blue Girls. Twirling your blue skirts, traveling the sward under the towers of your seminary, go listen to your teachers, old and contrary, without believing a word. Tie the white fillets then about your hair, and think no more of what will come to pass than bluebirds that go walking on the grass and chattering on the air. Practice your beauty, blue girls, before it fail, and I will cry with my loud lips and publish beauty which all our power shall never establish it is so frail. For I could tell you a story which is true I know a lady with a terrible tongue, blear eyes fallen from blue, all her perfections tarnished, yet it is not long since she was lovelier than any of you. Blue Girls by John Crow Ransom That's the Writer's Almanac for Friday, June the 25th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.